peace and blessings. We back with PTP Reacts. Y'all know what it is. We watching Attack on Titan. Last episode, we met some characters. People joined their selective regimens. We found out who the top 10 in the class was. Aaron joined the scouts like he always wanted to. Um, and there was a bunch of like commotion about people wanting to be MPs or scouts or garrisons. And then Aaron made a passionate speech and got people to join the scouts, right? So everything seemed great. You know what I mean? Everything was happy. And then all of a sudden, the Colossal Titan popped up out of nowhere, smashed the hole in the wall. And that's where we are. If you are new here and haven't subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit the like button and the bell so you can stay up to date and receive notifications when we drop new content on the channel. Without further ado, episode five, first battle, Battle for Tross, part one. Let's get into it. Two terrifying new breeds of Titan appeared. The Colossal and the Armored, barreling through the outer walls as if wholesale destruction was child's play. The territory couched within the circle of Walmario was abandoned. 20% of the human race perished. As the Titan onslaught advanced, our only choice was to withdraw behind Wall Rose. Five years later, in the year 850, mankind didn't start this fight. But we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it. Aaron, Aaron, you ready for the smoke? That's why I fuck with Aaron, cause you ready for the smoke. Getting right to it. That shit's crazy. He said, Son of a bitch. He took out the cannons. The gate was no accident then. Mm. He, he planned it. Mm. He has intelligence. So Aaron figured out that he has intelligence. That's a big, that's a big unveiling. Oh shit. He almost got him though. He's gone. That shit don't exactly even make like sense, bro. Ago. He's here one moment and gone the next, just like that. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a breach. We have to act now. If they start pouring in, that's it. Look alive. <laughs> Operation Colossal Titan response is in effect. I expect you to take part. Report to HQ. If you got close to the damn thing, we need details. Sir! Sir, we pray the advance team will be victorious. <laughs> My bad. Sir! File through as calmly as possible. My thing is like, how's how's the colossal titan able to appear and disappear like that? Like in just thin air. Like it's just going poof and then go poof and it's gone. You know what I mean? Prepare to intercept. Soldiers charge! Cadets, time to put your training to work. I have faith each of you will be a credit to your regiment. I promise we'll get through this. You're safe as long as I'm beside you. Mm. 
Alright, I'm fine. Just give me a second for my nerves to settle. This is bad, isn't it? There's a hole in the wall eight meters wide and we don't even remotely have the engineering know-how to plug it. That huge boulder near the front gate was our best bet. But we couldn't figure out how to hoist it in place. Unless we seal the breach. The entire city's as good as dead. They could wipe out the human race in an afternoon. Oh. Armin! Listen to me. You're focused on the past. Look ahead. We're not gonna be the victims anymore. Hmm, okay, Aaron. Sorry, he said, look ahead. I'm okay. That victim shit. We ain't victims anymore. This looks very, very, very deep in in the society. Everything's all nice and beautiful. One would think so. Yes, clearly my brain is inferior to yours, Lord Vault. Okay. All right. So this guy's name is Pixis. How can you hope to thwart the Commander Pixis, sir? I bring news. I beg your pardon, young man. The this colossal private... Titan has laid siege to the city of Trost. Reports say the gate has been destroyed. <laughs> ah, this vintage is worthy of your good taste. One man of action to another, I obsequiously accept it as a gift. Where are you going? Pixis, wait! You can't just march off! I command you to stay! Damn it all, it's your sworn duty to defend us! <gasps> Lord Vault, sir. Untold numbers of our brave comrades in arms are laying down their lives in defense of trust as we speak. Commander, I'll go ready the horses, sir. Yes, well, no help for it, is there? If it's their time. Besides, what earthly good can the presence of a man who persistently loses to me at chess do for them now? Why not remain where I can assist you? Your lordship, oh. if I may speak freely, should the commander actually face a titan in battle, he won't feel compelled to play down his skill as he does with you. <gasps> That's enough, soldier. Good day, sir. My Can guy said he's playing down his skill. Day of sloth That's wild. So that means Please Pixis is up here. Don't do this to me. I want everyone split into four squadrons as practiced. All squadrons are responsible for supply running, message relay, and enemy combat under the command of the garrison regiment. Cadets will be taking the middle guard, led by the support squad. Rear guard will go to the elites. I expect you all to man your post. The Titans are in. This means the armored Titan is likely to reappear. If and when he does, the inner gate will also be history. Mm, the armor titan. Is this real? Quiet! Right, so we've the they've declared it. The armor titan well and colossal titan. titan. That's what they're calling the two the the special looking titans. If it comes to it, lay down your lives. Dismiss! <laughs> Damn, but you asking motherfuckers. Who are just now joining a regimen, just became cadets. And you're asking them to lay down their lives? Where are the older soldiers that are already, you know, leveled up? Move it. You're loving this, aren't you, you little psycho? Of course you are. Your whole life's aspiration is to be eaten. My guy called him a psycho. Shipping off to the MP. John, get a hold. No, not all of us are suicidal. Damn it! What do you think the last three years were about? We survived. We stared death in the face and we lived. Not everyone can say that, can mm. they? Some people couldn't take it and either ran or were thrown out. Hell, some people Aaron actually got died, those but not eyes. He's Am like, I right? Mm. We powered through for three years. What's one more day? It's weird because Aaron's like stop falling. He's like he has like qualities of a leader, but then he has qualities of I want you to come find not a leader. He's great at motivating people, but at the same time he's super reckless. You know. You've been assigned to the rear guard on special orders. Let's get moving. But sir, I'm a cadet. I'll slow everyone down. What? 
You're not being asked for a self-evaluation here. Sir, with all due... Hey! You've been given a direct order. Pull it together. Now! Damn. This is you had the fuck out of her. You know it. We're on the verge of extinction here. Have some damn perspective. Promise me one thing. Whatever happens, don't get yourself killed. I had planned on it. Thanks. No, I won't allow myself to get killed. Life is well. Like then don't be so reckless, cause you be reckless. You just gotta keep, can't be reckless, Aaron. We have access to tell us nothing of the Titan's origin. Almost everything about them is obscure. Thanks to the efforts of the Scout Regiment, we do know something of their ecology. Whether Titans possess human-like intelligence is up for debate, of course. And to date, there have been no reports of high-level communication between them. As they lack reproductive organs, it's unclear how they reproduce. Apart from this, to all appearances, their physique resembles the average human male. We also know their body temperatures run quite high. Appetite seems geared wow. exclusively towards human beings. In fact, a Titan's driving principle seems wow, to be Wow, their appetite, appetite is exclusively eat human beings. ...without access to their only source of nourishment, however. Let that sink in. Titans aren't motivated by hunger as such. They're simply in it for the kill. The terrifying vitality of these creatures. So they're not even eating people only to consider events of the for nutrition. They're just eating them to eat them. Mankind has long possessed cannon technology, as you're aware. Or a titan's head usually regenerates within two minutes. Is that true? As if their size wasn't frightening enough. Oh wow! So their head can regenerate. Okay. So they have incredible regenerative powers or abilities. The titans. Strike here. If the back of their neck takes adequate damage, a titan mm. will not regenerate. This is the chink in the proverbial armor. That so if you strike the back of their neck, the flesh okay. blades you see here come in. Mm. A good deep strike with one of these to a titan's weak spot, and the monster has left no time to regenerate. They die and stay dead. Look at it this way, Armin. That's a it's very, a very sensitive spot in humans as well. I mean, if we prove so where your brain and your spine we'll rise up right come right together. Right before long, we could even be leading our own regiment. We could bypass rookie status altogether. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm with you all the way. Now, now, boys. You're not the only ones in your class. Save some of the glory for the rest of us. Good luck beating us to the punch a second time, Aaron. No head starts for you this round. Is that a challenge? Listen up. Whoever kills the most titans gets bragging rights. <laughs> Better not fudge your scores. Yeah! Okay, real for ourselves. That's what's up. I like the confidence though. But there's only been a couple of y'all that actually seen some titans, so maybe y'all should take it easy. The vanguard's been completely overwhelmed. I don't believe this. Those guys always talk so big. I thought things would be hairy, but this, this is insane. Uh, we've got an abnormal! Hold up! Oh, an abnormal. I wonder what that means. Damn. Oh my God. Damn. Damn. One guy already down. Wow. <laughs> There's no playing in this 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 show, bro. People really get bodied. You bastard! Wait! Stay with the crew! Hmm. You're not getting away! You're not getting away! Hmm. Oh, A rap. <laughs> it's a rap. Why? Wow. My 
Everyone's leg is missing. Wow. Oh, look at Santa Claus. <laughs> no way. Now Armin. Now Armin too. Shouting. Sorry, I found a book my grandpa keeps hidden away. Believe it or not, it's about life on the outside. You could go to jail for that. Trust me, you'd change your mind if you knew what was actually out there. For example, oh, really? Book, most of the world is covered Stuff about the outside water, world is so illegal. The bottom. There's a name for it, too. They call it the sea. Like salty for real? That's the thing. The sea never runs out. It's that big. Wow. Yeah, Just so, there's a lot more so the sea oh, is. Something that they're rocks that take days to climb. like not Imagine knowledgeable about. The outside world must be. Wow. It does sound really neat. So they're really but like to promise on your insulated. To tell anyone. But my parents are they don't know what the sea is. To sneak outside the walls to see for themselves. We should do it ourselves one day. We can have adventures. Oh, like Armin's parents is gonna sneak outside, huh? Uh oh. Okay, Aaron. Okay. Okay. My guy Aaron is saved Armin. My guy Aaron went inside the mouth of a Titan to save Armin. The outside world. The things you told me about. What? Nah, no way. No way, bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? Wow. That was a That was episode 5. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, we see that the Colossal Titan smashed the wall, popped up, disappeared, smashed the wall, right? And then, obviously, humanity, the uh, cadets, everybody's reacting. So they're kind of, you know, trying to uh, figure out their plan. Um. Aaron and his group, they go try to um, essentially figure out a way to attack some of these titans and, and handle some of them, right? Because, you know, that's what they've been tasked to do. And immediately, one of his friends get eaten. And then all of his friends get eaten. And then literally he loses a leg and Armin almost gets eaten by a Santa Claus looking type of Titan. This, this is crazy. Aaron is dead. Like that Titan swallowed him. So like literally the guy who was like, I'm gonna kill all of them, he's dead. This is wild. And then for them to end the episode off with Mikasa turning back, like, go to great, great, great writing. All right. So without further ado, let's get into episode six, the world that the girls saw battle for Tross part two. Me. Say something. There you are. You with me now? 
What the hell you got all over you that's so damn slimy? Damn. Armin what don't even remember what happened, bro. <laughs> Let it go, Connie. He's it. The rest of them. Wow. Are Damn it! Don't talk like that. When you get right down to it, that's the real wow. tragedy here. Aaron and the others bust their asses, and the one left standing wow. is him. All right, that does it, bitch. I'm gonna shut your mouth up permanently. Both of you, stop it right now! Look, this we're is all crazy. at the end of each other, okay? <laughs> Seeing our friends being killed like animals, it's normal to be upset. Look at my Krista keeping the peace. You are her still gonna Krista. have to marry me when all this crap is. What she mean, marry her? <laughs> yeah, well, she best get a hold of that mouth. I'll rendezvous with the rear guard, but Armin. That shit's crazy. Got it. Pop two. We've been given orders to advance. Like. How do you even like like this world, this world has Oh my god been It's been hell I just couldn't see it before now Like how do you even handle this and My friends they They tried They knew how the world worked They wanted to be strong for me Someone who only brought them down in their eyes, I was a victim. I needed protection. But all I wanted was to stand shoulder to shoulder with them, to be strong. Oh, the, the hook doesn't always go into the wall, huh? Oh, uh, okay. This is how it all ends up. Aaron tried to protect me, and... Wow. There go that couple. Everything's gonna be all right. I promise. Yeah. Come on, baby. You got this. Stay with me. Somebody help us! Oh no, please. It's not safe on the ground. We need to get you on a roof. No, I'm not leaving him like this. You really don't understand, do you? Oh no, I'm sorry, Francis. Wow. Half of his body's gone. Damn. Please stop. This is that trauma that. right now. I can't. I can't take it. This is hell. Believe me, you want to make it out of here alive, stop whining and what? help. What? My guy's blocking the exit? You're a soldier, do something. Make him move that damn wagon. I'm not exactly sure. Take your best shot, little man. I'm the president of this town's merchant guild. Uh, well, I... Who do you think pays all the bills for the food you and your buddies crap out? Or maybe you've got some finances tucked away to fund the racket you call a job! Now shut up and push! This cargo's worth more than you people... Oh, you definitely would have got... Nobody you definitely would have got a two-piece. Wow. It's gonna kill you all, even if you don't push it. Someone wanna tell me why this son of a bitch is ignoring us? It's an abnormal. Stop trying to figure out. Okay. So the so abnormals are names of titans that act abnormal, obviously. But so there's different kinds of titans, is, is from what I'm hearing. Like there's regular titans, I guess. And then there's titans that are abnormal. And then there's the two titans, the big one and the col colossal and the Excuse armored. Me. What is all this? Laying down their lives for you. All because this is taking too long. Yeah, that's their job. You expect me to shed a tear because they got to fulfill the duties they signed on for? They're supposed to be willing to lay down their lives. Don't get all high handed on me just because you finally got to earn your damn keep after all these years. Hmm. Ikasa's eyes changed like. Yeah, no arguing with that. You're absolutely right, sir. Guess it's what you call the greater good. Believe it! Y'all niggas stupid. Y'all pulling up on Mikasa like that? That word 
gonna come from beyond the grave. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Sir, maybe we should uh, pull the damn wagon. There out. you go. Hey, come on, bro. This is real life shit. You've saved our lives, miss. All of us are in your debt. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Oh, it's raining. We know rain is never a good sign. I inadvertently dulled both of the blades. Oh, that's cool. All right. What on earth have you had to live through to be so nonchalant? So they, the blades can get, their blades can get dull from slicing the titans Why do I have to suddenly incorrectly. And they, they can pop the blades off. That's cool. Okay. So there's a little bit of technology going on. Okay. All right, all right. I thought I thought these these people like were like straight up didn't know nothing. Okay, we got a flashback here. What do you think? Did I do good? Oh, darling. That it's looks like Mika's fantastic. Excellent work. Oh, thank you. We've kept this style of embroidery a special family secret for mm -hmm. heaven knows how many generations. But you know what? That nice Dr. Yeager's scheduled to pay us a visit today. Maybe you could talk to him. Dr. Yeager, so Speak of the devil. Just a moment. Her name's Mikasa? Yes, and she's just about your age. So try to get along, okay? There aren't many Okay, so this is where Aaron met Mikasa, I guess? Is anyone there? Oh. Well, are they or aren't they? Dad? What's wrong? What happened? Oh. Damn it. Look around. Can you see the wow. door anywhere? Perhaps she's outside. What happened? I don't think so. This is bad. I need to alert the military police of this while the trail's warm. Wait for me at the foot of the mountain. So the mom Stood. and dad got killed. Say that back to me. Word for word. Aaron! Look at her face and tell me what she's worth. Sure, she's cute and all, but just young. Wouldn't go for her myself. Then I guess we're lucky you're not the one we're selling to. Plenty of folks would pay a premium. She's exotic, what they used to call an oriental. Mm. You know about all that, right? Back when there used to be different breeds of people, a bunch of them from the Far East came scrambling here for safety. The old perverts in the capital really go for that sort of thing. This little beauty's gonna fetch a mint at auction. It's great business. She's the last of her kind. All the rest of her people died. Out. Wow. So Mikasa is like a special lineage or something? Called the Unoriental? Which I think is a derogatory ter term. Wow. Oh, so Pops got stabbed right away. This is the crazy. Like only kill the father. You're feeling feisty. Both Mikasa's parents got killed in front of her. That's wild. So oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't Aaron just pulled up on her? Like, how did you even find this place? Uh, how did he even well, get there? I was in the woods. God, lost. Big fat wolves are liable to pounce on you from out of nowhere. It's all right. Oh. You'll be safe here. 
my buddy and I'll be happy to take you. <laughs> I appreciate that, sir. But I'm not stupid. What? That's the last thing you'll ever see. Aaron d caught a body as a little kid? That's crazy behavior. Get back here! That nigga Aaron ain't normal. Die! I don't go. <laughs> this nigga's like six or seven or something like that. And he catch two bodies? That's wild. Big ups Aaron though. You know what I'm saying? But my guy. Anyway, Mikasa, right? My name's Aaron. I'm Dr. Yeager's son. I met your folks. <laughs> I got caught well. two bodies, too. You were stopping by your and he didn't have no reservations about it. Saw. What happened to the third one? Oh. <gasps> you did this! I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die! Take Take him out! What you know about kill or be killed at your age, though? Like, what? It's the only way! Who the hell do you think you are? Kill or be killed? And all of a sudden, I remembered. I'd seen it all before. I okay. Look the other way. Mm. She's yeah. referring to the nature of things. The world is a cruel place. The cycle of life. Mm, and okay. it's home. All of a sudden, my body wasn't shaking. I was in total control. Focused. Ready. All of a sudden, I could do anything. What? Fight! Just turn into Goku real quick. Fight! Fight! Damn it, son. I made it clear I wanted you to wait at the foot of the mountain. Do you even understand the magnitude of what you've done here today? Sorry, Dad. I'm not gonna feel bad for what happened. They were animals disguised as humans who needed to be put down. Listen to yourself! By the time the military police got here, they'd have been long gone, and you know it! We couldn't afford to wait! That's not what I'm arguing about! You threw caution to the wind and survived by pure luck. You're strong, yes. Mm. But you're too damn young too to be young. so casual about gambling with your life. And that's and that's the thing that I think no, that Aaron to needs to work on, and he'd be a great leader. Like He's very emotional and passionate, and sometimes with being a leader, you can't be so emotional because, like, you can get people hurt without logic. You know what I mean? So, his passion drives him, which is great, but you're going to get people killed if you're not thinking things through. feel about coming to live with us don't think about it just come on we gotta get home <laughs> she didn't get a chance to process it the world's a cruel place like how do you process you to all live, of that shit that just happened you killing somebody Isn't what it? happened like Long as you're part of my life, I can fight to the bitter end. All right, that was episode six. <laughs> okay, episode six, we seen. Um, we seen Mikasa in action here. We seen that Mikasa is uh, super capable, obviously, as we known from 
previous episodes. Um, but we also learned that Mikasa is special in some kind of way. Um, like her her lineage is rare. Um, I guess maybe because like most of her people died off or something like that. So um, her and her mom were really rare. Um, and um, you know, we see a flashback when they went back to when Mikasa was younger with her family. And I guess, you know, these kidnappers were trying to come up and, um, you know, like traffic Mikasa and her mom. And, um, you know, that didn't end too well. Um, but when we seen that, you know, Aaron saved Mikasa and... Aaron is a savage. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aaron catching bodies at six or seven or whatever kids age. That is just nuts. Um, but yeah, so we seen that also that Aaron's family uh, took in Mikasa because obviously she was um, going to be an orphan. Um, and I guess that's how... Mikasa joined their family and you know uh, Mikasa clearly has a dedication to Aaron because of the fact that Aaron uh, gave her the fight to stay alive um, but yeah this these two episodes I feel like were um, very emotionally roller coaster um, because we seen in episode 5 there was a lot of like hope like ambition um uh there was just like a light at the end of the door right um and then immediately immediately that light that door got shut so um i don't know what's gonna happen aaron is dead armin is having a psychotic break and Mikasa hasn't even found out that Eren is gone. And she clearly is really dedicated to Eren. So I wonder what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, man. Episode 5 and 6. Great, great stuff. Keep tuning in. We are going to keep this thing going. Because these episodes, just the first six episodes were just masterful i just think in how they you know it's like a movie you know next time when we get into episode seven and eight as i said before if you haven't subscribed smash that subscribe button like it up let me know in the comments how you guys feel about these two episodes because i think these two episodes were just just really great episodes, just really pulling out heartstrings. And, um, you know, we'll see how things go in the next two episodes. All right. So from the PTP Reacts channel, it's your boy Pashi. And we are out.